Hello everyone, welcome to clickmyprojects.com. So that I'm here to talk about a theory paper which is already named as uh, Securing Brokerless Publisher and Subscriber Systems Using Identity Based Encryption. This is nothing but uh, that the uh, use of searchable encryption for to enable efficient routing of encrypted events, multi-credential routing and new event dissemination and strategies to strengthen the weak subscription confidentiality. Though analysis of a different attacks on the subscription confidentiality, the overall approach provides the fine grained key management on the cost of encryption, decryption and routing. In this case, we are just uh, need to know that no broker should be used in between publisher and subscriber. Who is a publisher and a subscriber? A publisher is nothing but a person who creates the products or just manufactures the products or also they pass the products for selling. And of course, the subscriber is nothing but a man who gets the process from the pro from the wholesaler or also a retailer or also a publisher so in, without any uh, in, in between brokers the process has to be done which means the product has to be passed from directly to the publisher to the subscriber no broker should be inside so let's get get on the flow of it so this is the flow first of all the registration process is done and after that the login process will also be done for the publisher and the subscriber now a publisher has been logged in and also a subscriber has been logged in. Now subscriber is sending a request for requirement so that he will be encrypting the requirement, send the public key and the published email id to the key server. Key server saves the email id, publisher id and public key. So and then the key server will be sending the request to the key publishers. Who are all the publishers? There may be n number of publishers also n number of subscribers. The publisher key, key server will be sending it to the process, authorized publishers because only registered process can be done with all the publishers so the registration the authorized user will be getting the process after that the decryption process will be done and he will also check the availability the publisher will be checking the available process in the from the publisher database and retrieve the data from him and if he has the requirement which is exactly what the subscriber wants he will be sending it to the encryption and decrypt encrypt the file and also he is sending the file directly to the subscriber and also he will send an acknowledgement to the key server because uh, key, the key server must know that he is this uh, only this subscriber has got the file and also it doesn't uh, wind up in a wrong hands so uh, uh, after that the subscriber will be sending the id and also request the, request the private key from the key server after that the private key verifies the subscriber id and also it will be waiting for the match has to be done between the ID which has given by the publisher and also he'll be getting the key. Uh, if it if the both if both the subscriber ID has been matched and he'll the key server will be passing the private key to the subscriber and also the decryption process done and the subscriber will be using the work. Now let's go for the project. One key server, one publisher and a subscriber because since I'm using a single system, I must use all the three in the same system so that I'm using a local host IP. A key server, a publisher, and also a subscriber. Now go for the publisher. The password and the email, the username and the password has been already registered, so that I am not registering again. So the search. Now we are searching a text file, and also I am keeping a text file from that. Now there, I need to copy this because I need to search for this one again. Now generate a generate a secret key. The secret key has been generated. Save it to the database. File encryption. This is the uh, this is the file which has to be encrypted, and the encryption process also has been done. Now just receive the request. Which just wait for the receive request and also give the process via publisher. Uh, in this one, subscriber also already has been registered, so it doesn't need to any uh, new kind of registrations or something. Now go for the key server ID and login it. The login will also be processed because the web server has already been started. Now give the port ID, which I need to connect the key server with the subscriber. Now give the give the process of what the siemens.txt is my requirement. So send the request. The key server will receive the request. The request has been received since you know that. And the online user, we are checking for the online user. Arun is the online user, so I am sending the request to him. Now the request will be processed here. Receive the request. The request has been received and check the availability. Now the availability, I will check the availability. After that, the if in case any of the publisher does have the work or the product which I uh, which I relatively needed, the publisher one has got what I need. So I'm sending the request to that subscriber that uh, was telling that acknowledgement has been received from this kind of IP. Uh, since it was my my own system, so that the single IP will be removed. And now the publisher is going for the work. Now uploading the subscriber. That upload upload has been done. Now 
we are we are going for the key request get the file send the key send the server and also the key server is getting the process receive key and send it to the subscriber now now the key has been received the decryption file has also been received Thank you.